it's like a man, honey. They look beautiful on the outside, but if they not projecting anything, a job, some money, ambition, some integrity, if they ain't projecting all that, and if they do not last long, why do I want it? Everybody and welcome back to ages how you wear it I got okay first of all get your coffee I got mines you looking at this at night get your glass of wine because baby this is gonna be a long one I am gonna go through all of my eau de perfumes I'm gonna tell you what I feel about them I'm gonna tell you why I bought them I'm gonna tell you not to buy it at least for me whether i should have bought it or not now i don't have no large perfume collection nowhere near it i have a baby one you saw it in the intro but i want to try certain perfumes and i want to give it a chance i want to wear it i am not a collector you have some that are collectors uh take ai the great i talk about her up here i tell you when i She's the one who most influenced me on perfumes to get. And I have an unboxing. So I got everything for you today. So let's go. Okay. I'm going to start off with dupes that I've gotten. I wanted to see how certain things smell. So I bought the dupes to it. And I'm going to start off with... Um, the first one I bought, which is Alt. Okay, if you want to, <clears throat> excuse me, what is happening today? If you want to really try out some of the perfumes, I would go with getting either the sample size from that perfume, or if you heard a lot about one that smells similar to the perfume, then I would get that fragrance in a sample so i am so glad i got this alt sample right here now i'm gonna tell you what's in it this is how it looks i haven't gotten even through look at it let me show you <clears throat> i'm gonna tell you what they are supposed to be representing and so here's the sample size. Look how good that sample size is. That's a nice sample size. Um, this one is supposed to be Lost Cherry. <clears throat> now I've smelled Lost Cherry. The real Tom Ford Lost Cherry. I have smelled it. Now, wow. At first with... <clears throat> Most definitely. This is definitely Lost Cherry. And what I think happens is the smell is a particular scent in it that's not hard to recreate. So it's the cherry smell. It smells just like a, a cherry. Um, actually, to me, it smells like a cherry pie. And if you like sweet scents like that, then the Lost Cherry, uh, Tom Ford Lost Cherry and the Bitter Peach, they too sweet for me. You have to also find out what, what do I like? What do I not like? Okay, I'm buying stuff, but I don't even know what I like. I know what you like. And I know you said, Miss Nita, I know what you really tell me that you like. But that doesn't mean I'm going to like it. See, that's why you got to really get into the notes. So it's not just hey buy this perfume it's what is the notes because you'll find that some notes you just don't like okay so let me tell you what comes in this alt sample and i'm gonna tell you the one that i smelt the original and i smelt the one in here and i oh boy it, it smells so nasty to me but let me tell you the notes okay so what i did was I, you know, I got my handy dandy iPad. 
So I want to make sure that I tell you what's in everything. Um, and then you know I can't see and I ain't got my glasses on. So looking at them little bottles, not gonna happen. Not today. Okay, so let me tell you what's in it. First, you have crystal. Now crystal represents Baccarat 540. And if you see my new, wait, have you even seen that yet? Yeah, you should have. I'm hoping you have seen it. If you see my new in, my Baccarat 540 was in, um, my Baccarat 540 was, I just got that. So I wanted to smell the uh, dupe of it, which is a lot of them out there. And what I got to learn is that the dupe is a dupe. It is. That's exactly what it is. It it has the smell, that one smell that's in Baccarat 540, and there's a lot of them out there that copy that scent. But you got to think of what else comes with it. Like, it it just is so much softer, and, and I don't know. When I get to Baccarat, because I'm going to tell you about it up here, let me get through this all, because I'm going to go all over the place. Okay, so what's in it? You got in here, in this case, the crystal, which is the Baccarat 540 dupe. You also have executive. An executive is like the Aventus. It is, most of the scents are, a lot of them are um, unisex, so men and women can, can. You also had Cherry Smash, which is Lost Cherry. That's the one I just showed you. You also have Duchess, and Duchess, Duchess is Delina. So it is the dupe for Delina. Effing fantastic. And that is for, that's inspired by Fabulous. And then it has Santo Perfume, which is the Santo 33. That right there. That Santo, is it Santo 33? <clears throat> it, it, it is the, oh God, I, I hate the smell of this. It smells like, and some people might like it, it smells like grass, like outside wet grass. And I know some people like that smell. Cut fresh grass, you outside, you on vacation. But honey, I do not want to smell like cut grass. This is the nastiest smell. <laughs> Ooh! Uh, it's so nasty. <laughs> That will stay in there forever. I have tried to give it away and I can't find anybody who likes that smell. But if you like that smell of that cut grass, that outdoors, that that smell, then you would like that. Because I smelled the original as well. It's, I can't. So at least I now know something that I don't want. I don't want anything that says it has any type of greenery grassy outdoorsy smell sample i have is the house of silage and i wanted to try the samples of this as well and they packaging is so beautiful it opens like this and the samples are in there i've taken a few of my favorites out some of their perfumes and they have good deals sometimes she has half price sometimes it's like um, especially during Christmas. I think they have a lot of sales. So keep going on the website. They, if you want to try one, I do have a cupcake. My first cupcake and I am, I will purchase others, but I have one and I will show you that one. So this is also a very good sample to, uh, sample to have. They have different samples. So sometimes like the one I got here is not on the website anymore, but they have other samples. But I would recommend you go up there and get you some samples. And the good thing is she also sends you samples when you buy the cupcake. And it's quite a few that I like. And I'm going to save that for when I get my next cupcake. I'll do a more in-depth um, review on 
the House of Salad. The next sample that I got is the Tiffany & Co. And this is Tiffany Love. Um, look at this big, I mean, to me, it's a big sample bottle. And it's pretty, and I'm going to keep it. I surely am. So for this one, I got the sample because I wanted to see how it is. Let me tell you about the notes in the Love from Tiffany & Co. It has blue basil grapefruit. That is the top notes. Then it has Norelli. I think it's called Norelli. And then the base, the base notes is uh, vetiver and cedarwood and blue. I don't know if that's sequoia, but it is. The scent is fresh. It it reminds me of um, you want to go. Say you going on a girlfriend's brunch. You know that other women are gonna be there and they're gonna have on their perfumes and that's something you have to think about. So you wanna keep it light and airy to me. I wouldn't have anything strong on when I'm going with your girlfriends because everybody's gonna have on their scent and it's gonna be, if they got on ones that project, you could get lost in the mist anyway. So to me, when I go out with girlfriends, I like to be light and airy and have just that clean, um, that clean smell and get your hands. When my bottle is gone, I plan on getting this. So this is Tiffany and Co. Love. So yes. Okay, so let me tell you about some uh, a fragrance I got that is not high end because this is going to be low and high, but it is also a day scent, a going taking a shower and going to bed scent. It is just when I'm running to the store, and this right here I got from Target. So I know you're thinking Target, what? So let me tell you all about it. So it is called uh, Mix Bar Wood Elixir, and it is an eau de perfume. And let me tell you about the notes. So this has blackberry, rhubarb, lily of the valley, amber wood, and patchouli. Now, amber wood is one of my favorite scents. So most of the time, if it has amber wood in it or um sandalwood or any of the woods i really like it i already know that is a note that i like this smell is guys to me this is a um use day or night but it's also a layering scent so i like to layer this with any of my ones that's got that wood um any of the sandalwood, the amber. To me, I can spray this on heavy and spray light with my higher end perfume to save it, but give this a boost, if that makes sense. So this is a very good layering scent and I would definitely recommend it. It does not cost much. You can definitely pair this. Also, if you get a good bath and body work, uh body cream that has any of the other notes that's in here like any of the notes that's in here and mix this with it you got yourself a winner so the next one i'm gonna talk about i guess i'll go ahead and go with my ralph lauren set this is the of course the big bottle because the sets usually have a big bottle that comes with it and this is the Romance. That is the name of the perf uh, the perfume. It is called Romance. And if you've been on my channel, I've told you I've worn it. And let me tell you about the notes for Romance. Let me tell you about the notes for Romance. The top note is Mandarin Essence, Pink Pepper, and White Violet Leaves. The middle note is Rose, Jasmine, uh, Marigold, and then the base note is patchouli and musk and oak moss. Interesting. <laughs> but this definitely 
let me tell you about this one. The top is kind of hard to come off, which kind of is good so that it's not loose or whatever. So this one, oh, uh, it smells like uh, being in the polo store, if that makes sense. If you, um, if you shop polo or any other Ralph Lauren stores, it smells like their store, and that's weird. Let me, um, let me spray a little bit. And let me, yes, okay, so, um, this one is definitely also a, to me it's a day scent. Um, it's definitely uh, a little stronger than, um, uh, it has no sweetness to it to me. So that's one of the reasons I like it. But the good thing about this is you can layer it with something sweet, like a sweet body cream and then put this on it as long as it has the body cream has the note in it one of the notes to bring it out and you can make this softer but when it dries down it smells so good like that's when some of the sweetness comes out but it's definitely not a sweet perfume but other than that, it smells very good, especially when it dries down. And I never knew, when I used to buy perfume back in the day, I never knew that it was a dry down smell. I thought once you spray it on, that's it. But it is a dry down smell. Now that I'm really paying attention to it, it is it 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 smells different once it dries down, and that's what you gotta realize. That's why I really don't like buying it on from paper from going to the store, um, store, from going to the boutique or wherever you get your high end or your regular fragrances from. I don't want to buy it from you spraying it and I smell it and I say, okay, yeah, that's good because it might not smell that way on dry down and it might not smell that way on your skin. So I'm kind of glad that we going back now to a little normalcy so I can spray it, walk around, didn't smell my skin again and see if that is something that I want because that paper is natural skin It's gonna smell totally different to me now when I when you sample some things like when you sample the Tom Ford Lost cherry and like I was telling you about the lost cherry and the bitter peach honey ain't nothing gonna change about that That's gonna that is that smell. It is no joke and it's not playing Okay, so um Speaking of samples, this is, isn't this cute? This also came with my Ralph Lauren set, the romance set. This came with it. And I keep all my samples in here that I like to try. The thing about me is I don't get samples and just let them sit there. I will get up in the morning, take a shower, because I work from home right now. But you know we're going to go back. I'm going to tell you, I know I'm going back by at least October. By October, I'm quite sure I'll be back in the office. But while I'm working from home, I take me a shower in the morning and I spray me some of my sample on because I want to see how it lasts all day. So I don't just buy my stuff for it to sit or wear it for special occasions. Now, some of these... I will not wear it unless it's a special occasion, but my any of my samples, I want to wear it because I'm sampling it. What is the point of having samples if you just sit in somewhere and never sample it? So sometimes I've sampled it and I'll be like, ooh, no, 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 no. And then sometimes I say, oh, I have got to get this because, all right, so let's move on. Let's get into the nitty gritty. All right, so, Let's talk about all the houses I got this by itself, and then I'll show you the houses I got that I got multiple of. So my first one is Lady Dior, and this is Absolutely Blooming. Oh, Absolute, yeah, I think it's Absolute Blooming. Oh my goodness, guys. First of all, I don't buy nothing just for the bottle. Now, collectors, they love beautiful bottles. They want the bottles. They, they Now, I can't help it if some have beautiful bottles, but it's like a man, honey. 
they look beautiful on the outside, but if they not projecting anything, a job, some money, ambition, some integrity, if they ain't projecting all that, and if they do not last long, why do I want it? So no, I do not buy my perfumes because they look pretty. I buy it because I want to wear it and I want something that's inside that's beautiful. This right here, I wanted, I knew I wanted some Dior perfume. I went and smelled some. I went and tested it and this absolute blooming. Oh, it smells so delicious, guys. I, this, I, when I put this on, what I love about it is you smell me as I go past. No, you don't smell me as I'm approaching, but when I walk past, you be like, what it once that wind hit it what is that it is definitely to me a summer spring summer fragrance because you want that when you walk past you want somebody to whiff that and you gone baby so winter ones i don't have i think i have just one that i would two that i will only wear in the winter and then i will get me some winter fragrances i only concentrated on summer and spring so then I will get me some winter fragrances and I'll do a updated video. So let's talk about, let me get my, let me see. So let's talk about Miss Dior. Let me tell you the note. She has, uh, let's see. She has grass, rose, and Damascus rose. So she has two different type roses in her. Um, she has white musk. Um, let's see what else she has. She has red berry. And peony. Yep, those are her notes. So this is definitely a... Um, Flower, uh, flowery, uh, what do they call it? Um, do they say flower? I guess they say flower because of all the rose, the peony. She, she smells like spring and summer. Um, and if you are thinking of any of the Dior's, get yourself um, this Miss Dior right here. She's gorgeous. She smells so good. Okay, so next I have my Miss Hermes Twilly. And they say that this, a lot of, some people said they didn't like this because it smelled like their grandma, uh, a grandma old scent. I don't get that. This smells delicious to me. And it is, uh, I don't know. It just has something that just makes me think of um, uh, going out on a date at night and you know that y'all are going to something like um, a carnival or you're going somewhere where you're walking on the boardwalk or somewhere where you're doing a lot of walking or a lot of, um, this is not a, I'm sitting in a restaurant just having dinner and going home. That's, that's not it. It's um, For Miss Hermes, she has ginger, tuberose, and sandalwood. I find that I love ginger. Things with ginger in it. I don't have a lot of perfumes with ginger, but I know that some of the ones that I've smelled that is on my list has that ginger in it and that tuberose, but it doesn't have uh a, like that two roses i think is that is that scent that not a lot of people like and that might be the two rose that they smell that reminds them of something a little uh older but i layer my um hermes or any fragrance i'm gonna get with ginger and i've talked about this origins this is the whipped um saute or what saute <laughs> this is the ginger souffle 
and this is the actual um, lotion <sighs> don't put these together this is if you like the smell of ginger you can wear this by itself but I use it to layer put this on with that Hermes and it'll oh you know it'll overpower that tuberose you know and it just bring out that ginger and it's, it's a beautiful scent that these them three together I mean these two together I'm always holding them as a set but you could just buy the souffle and put it on with your don't forget to put your um, non scented very thick um, I do the Ukraine lotion and then I put this souffle on and then I put on my um, Hermes on top got I wanted to try the uh, perfume uh, the perfume de Marley I wanted to try that and my son was gonna get the bottle but they didn't have it so he got me two travel sizes and let me tell you about perfume de Marley now that I will definitely when my travel sizes run out I would definitely get that beautiful pink bottle I will have it not for the bottle remember I told y'all I don't get things cause just because it look good I get stuff that I want to have in my collection. So it has rhubarb, lychee, bergamot, and I have a lot of my scents, my fragrances, the scent bergamot in it. Um, heart notes, Turkish rose, peony, and vanilla. And you know I love that rose. And then cashmere, musk, and vetiver. So you've heard that also in my scents. Those uh, some of those notes. Oh, it smells so delicious. This is, uh, this is, I'm going dancing. Um, uh, I'm going dancing and, and I just want everybody on the dance floor when I do my arms and I, I'm out there by myself dancing, honey. I ain't got to have no partner. And you just like, what is that? Or, you know, um, going somewhere on date night and you leave that scent in that car honey because he know you was there or you know it's just i don't know it is now would i wear this in the daytime if i was to wear this in the daytime it would be very light like i would just do one or two squirts and that's if i'm going maybe uh to brunch and um, I'm just going with a friend. And I just want to have just a hint of it. Because, you know, it's heavy sprayers and then it's... I, I don't think I spray enough. Um, but with this, it would just be two squirts and I'm out the door. Nothing, nothing magnificent. Save it for when you really want it to shine. But it, it's a delicious smell and I definitely would get that. Okay, so next on the list of by themselves, let's talk about bond number nine. I have bond number nine, the small bottle, and I have the amber. So let me, this is how it comes. And this is the bottle. I travel and I want to take the bottle. I don't just have my bottle anywhere. It's in its packaging and I can just put it in my bag. So let me tell you about the amber. Um, bond number nine, amber. So let me find that. And I know that's in here, I saw it. Okay. So for this one, for my amber, of course, it is a unisex. Um, it has notes of sandalwood, musk, and amber. That's it. Now, this one I definitely, definitely is saving for winter. To me, it is not a... Let me smell it again. Yes, this is a strong amber and musk smell this to me is something that i would wear in the winter fall winter time um because it is strong enough to project through your clothes through your layering and this i would soften it 
with some uh, body cream that has um, not amber, but maybe um, a sandalwood uh, body cream or find a sweet body cream that complements it. And I would wear it with that. So this is definitely one of my winter scents. And speaking of that as a winter scent, I have my House of Silage. Now the one that I bought, so you know it opens and it has the cupcake inside, but of course my cupcake sits on outside of the box. Um, the one, the cupcake that I got is Rain. Oh my gosh. So when you open it up, it is the Emerald Rain and you see it on the inside. And oh my goodness. <laughs> smells so I'm surprised that I like it so much because it's kind of sweet but this cupcake here baby this is definitely going to be my winter scent it is a beautiful beautiful bottle and I I have th I think I have three more cupcakes that I like that I want to get and you know when I get these cupcakes, I'm going to put it on a cake. Some beautiful crystal or something cake holder for my cupcakes. Definitely. Because perfumes are decorative and they're beautiful. I don't buy them for the bottle. I buy them for the fragrance. But now everybody's making bottles so beautiful, you have no choice. Now... House of Salad is not cheap. Um, so I try to get them when they're on sale. So let me talk about uh, my cupcake and tell you what it has in it. Okay, so the top notes for Emerald Rain is nutmeg and cardamom oil. The heart notes is violet leaves and sandalwood. And then the base notes is patchouli and benzion. So... There's another one with different notes that you've heard. So you try, you're seeing some of the notes that are in my collection. Okay, so that was the House of Silage. That's the only one I have besides the signature, but that is uh, a standalone. And next I have Gucci. Now I got the Gucci set. if I can get it open. <laughs> okay, I got the Gucci set and it came, it came with the big bottle, the lotion, and then a travel size. This, uh, this is the Gucci, um, wait, how do I, bamboo. This is the Gucci bamboo set. Now, I don't hear a lot about the Gucci bamboo. I don't know why, because it smells delicious. Um, and it has the little bamboo handle. And wow, guys. I can wear this anytime. Like, I, I, I can wear it day, night. Um, let me see what it reminds me of. Let me spray it. It reminds me of. Let me see. Mm, first, when you first smell it, it smells sweet. And it has a beautiful, sophisticated smell to it. When I say sophisticated, I don't mean old. When I say it's, it's grown woman, okay? This is not a 18-year-old's a perfume no this is a grown woman about her business and knows what she likes and knows what she wants it 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 comes in a little sweet 
but the dry down is not not sweet. So let's listen. Let's look at the notes for it. Top mm. note is bergamot. Then you've heard that several times, right? Um, it's got the Casablanca lily, the orange blossom, the lang lang. It has sandalwood, Tahitian vanilla, and amber. It smells so delicious. This is definitely, it just, it's confidence. It's, it's, when I put this on, you know, I'm going out there and conquer the world. That's, it, it's no joke. So, almost done. Now, let's talk about the houses that I got multiple of. Chanel. Now, I don't have any Chanel Eau de Perfume sprays like the actual perfume i don't have any what i have is i have the mademoiselle body cream oh uh, oh my gosh guys it's beautiful i didn't put it back in this box it's beautiful it's it's plenty of it because i'm not gonna wear it all the time so it will last me and the other ones that I have is I have the body mist to go along with it. And I have the deodorant to go along with it. So those three together, I don't even bother with the perfume. I like that. It's, it's, it smells like I would have on an all white, beautiful lace dress and just me some um some beautiful sandals and i would put my body lotion on spray my mist put my deodorant on all of it is mademoiselle and i would just go out there for the day like go shopping go to lunch just uh, all day i know i'm going out all day and I wanna smell good all day. That is what my Mademoiselle um, perfume smells like. I just love it. I also have the Chanel uh, number no. five uh, body spray as well. It's all bent up because when I moved, um, they were knocking around my crap. And this all over body spray is also, this is, uh, mm. I just love the smell of this as well. So those are the Chanel's that I have. Most of it is the body cream and the mist. And let me tell you about the Chanel. Okay, so the, um, let me see. It's got bergamot and orange in it. It has jasmine and rose, so it has that floral. That was the word I was looking for, floral. I say flowers. It's floral scent. But um, it's so light and delicate and just smells so good, that one. Now, I do want to get me the orange blossom um, cr uh, body cream. I do want to get that. Because I think that body cream mixed with this will be a beautiful combination. And I'm going to get that from Jo Malone. I want the Jo Malone Orange Blossom Body Cream. MFK. So this is the MFK Baccarat 540 Lotion. And then you know if you saw my unboxing of my M Baccarat 540 per Eau de Perfume. Mm. <laughs> this right here i don't even have to tell you this is special occasion baby you know I, i'm going out for a night i'm going out not just girlfriends going to dinner but you know we all going to a club we dancing we not going to all be like in you know a restaurant this i'm coming not to play but i will ask is anybody wearing Baccarat 540 because I don't need to be smelling like you. We don't need to come as a pair. So if we all going out and we going on the town and we going dancing and we going really out, out, I would make sure to see if anybody would, would be wearing this because this is what I'm going to bust out. It, it, I'm, I'm going I'm to wear it. But I also got 
the um, uh, Gentle Fluidity Gold. Now this, ladies. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know. When you first take the top off and sniff it, all of their perfume, all of them smell the same to me. So it's got something in it. Um, I already told you that any dupes for the Baccarat 540 doesn't put a shine to the original. It's softer. It's beautiful. It has other notes in it that makes it beautiful. But this right here too, mm. I wore this one time because I wanted to see how it projects. I wanted to see what it was like. And I was going out shopping and, and, and lunch and, you know, my friend said they smelt it. Not when they were standing next to me like that. But when we was walking through the boutiques and I wolf, you know, I just walked past, they smelt it. Like it came with the wind, baby. Yes, this right here. So the Fluidity Gold is actually my favorite. So I have those from the house. Um... And am I glad I bought it and paid the money for it? Yes, because all, all, all of that was expensive. Um, so that is of the higher end of what I got. I think it's the most expensive that I have. Yeah, it's the most expensive that I had. That, the house is the large, is also up there. So everything is what you're willing to spend, ladies. And everything is try it, see if you like it. Bad, stay with that house if you want to. It's plenty of fragrances that I want. But I'm going to surprise y'all with them. Because everything, every perfume I get is going to be get is going to be for a reason. And I'm going to do a whole show for you when I get it. My so. unboxing. Okay, so I'm so excited, y'all. <laughs> I have never gotten Joe Malone. Now, to me, I was like, what? Everybody says it doesn't last long. Um, and I really didn't want to invest in, in a scent that doesn't give me a... Hey, can I get the two hours or something? Okay, so I wanted to see the house. I wanted to try it. And so I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and try Joe Malone, but I'm going to try it in the body cream. I told you, I'll do the cream before I do the perfume. Okay, so here's the box. <laughs> it comes beautifully wrapped in this black paper. My receipt. And I got three samples. And th look at this wrapping, guys. So excited. So let's do the samples first. Why did they wrap individually in its own box my samples? And I mean wrap. You know I'm keeping this, right? I'm keeping these little things because they're so cute. And they put wrapped up and I only got, look at this. And they wrapped it. I keep wrapping paper too because you never know when you have to give a gift to someone. So the samples that I got was the, um, and then the next one, cause you got three samples. Oh, let's see. Ooh, okay. I got, oh, and they gave you a little one. I don't know what this is. The basil and mandarin um, sample. What did I buy? So I will give you an update on those samples to see if there's anything I want to buy. But let's get to the unboxing. So, it came beautifully wrapped. I love wrappings. It's like surprises, right? It's like, I got a surprise, even though I bought it myself. And it's in its wrapping. And I got a box to keep it in when I travel or if I want to put it away. So the one that I got, guys, is the Velvet Rose and Oud. 
So I got the Velvet Rose and Oud. Why did I get rose? Well, I got the Velvet Roses because a lot of my scents have rose in it. You, you've you heard all the notes and rose is <laughs> in just about all of them. And um, Oud, because I wanted to try because people be talking about Oud like it's very strong and I want to see, okay. Wow. Okay. Let me go ahead. You getting my first reaction. I didn't put anything on today. I wanted to have nothing on my body except my Ukraine. And that don't have a smell. So let's get the first impression. This is... It smells... It's definitely a night scent. Oh, I could layer, layer this with a lot of stuff. I guess the oud is that strong woodsy scent. I like it. It's not, I thought it would be more overpowering, but it's not. And it's very, it's good and thick. Look at that, it's very thick. Oh, it's so moisturizing. It feels good on my skin. It said it was very moisturizing. This feels wonderful. I really like this. It's, it's not, um, I smell the rose in it too. It's not um, sweet at all. So if I was to have something that was sweet, I would definitely pair it with this. Um, I'm going to let you know what scent I do pair it with. Let me know down below if you lasted this long. Thanks, guys. And as always, don't forget, you are beautiful even in your transformation to that butterfly. Bye, guys.